That ought to have been a good shot. chilly this morning down in the 20s about to get her rolling here this is a line right here on my right get up close to a property line you get into just junk like this right here oh it's hardwood short limmy that's what he's cutting the lines right there behind him that line right there now because the yellow paint is, I can see it on the tree right there so he has he has paint to go by to watch 
watch for lines. He's also cutting off a GPS in there in the cab with him. It has the lines marked on it so he can, and it's as he's cutting on the GPS, it's, it's coloring it in too. So he knows, he can see where he's been as what is what is shading it in, just like, you know, coloring in a coloring book there. Got this pine right here, he's working toward it. That ought to have been a good shot. You smell that. Smell that oak sawdust right there. He'll probably get that little pine and then he'll back up and get that larger one. y'all can see it or not but off the back of that machine right there you can see all the heat monkeys coming out of it tree right there at the tree stand in it that green leafy tree that he's going by right that's a holly
notice that disc hardly ever drops in the RPMs. disc is 60 inches in diameter, weighs 1,400 pounds and spinning at 1,205 RPMs. In other words, that's sticker packing out stuff, boys. It is quitting time and Derek don't like but just where he's at right there that there's a little strip there's a SMZ on the other side of him from right there to the road which is right here probably 15 more minutes and he's gonna have her have his 20 acres cut in two days right here Get it knocked out and then we can get out here. They still, and looked at the weather a while ago, he's still calling for 80% chance of rain Friday. So we get that. I doubt we'll be able to do anything because these jobs like this right here, you just can't get a truck out of these here. Yeah, he don't like, he don't like much about another 15, 20 more trees there and he'll be done. That's a pretty good little pull going down this hill and then coming up that one, you gotta go around that curve and on up that next one up there. Danny told me today, he said, we're, we're not gonna load the limit on, on this. He said, man, this is pulling the guts out of these trucks. And I bet it is, or it was anyhow. It's holding up pretty good. Not too bad. Derek just likes this cluster of trees right here. He'll have her done. Starting me a fire in the fire pit there right quick. Go over here and get tater. And get some more wood off the burn pile. It's not like I don't have 945 cookies cut off over our pile <laughs> so let's uh let's do this boy he's excited he hears that folder running or that ranger running he is just beside himself look at him <laughs> what is it dude hey he going uh, he's over on the other side hey quit being such a baby and get up in there man all right, we're gonna go check the traps real quick. Well, I get some wood. I'll get some wood first. Is what I'll do. I get some wood first. There you go. Come on, get up there. Right out the other side. You ain't got a lick of sense. Not a lick of sense, man. You know that? We go get some wood first before we get start. Then we'll go check the traps. We're gonna have a towering inferno in the uh, fire pit here in a little bit. We'll make the rounds real quick. So these are all the cookies and chunks from the firewood class that we cut off right here. Uh, get ready because I'm about to nail down a date on the next chainsaw class. I'm thinking about the first weekend in uh, March, which would be March the 7th. I got to discuss it with a couple more people too, but uh, this next one will probably be an advanced class what I would consider an advanced class is going to be, uh, we'll actually be cutting some trees down. Felling trees with chainsaws. 
We'll start out right here in the classroom for just a little bit. And then we're gonna pack up, hit the road, go about eight miles, and we're gonna cut some trees down. What is it, dude? Huh? We didn't have anything in the traps today, did we? Not a thing. All right, we're gonna pile some of this wood here. So these cookies I got on the on the fire. We're gonna round her up. We're burning pine and poplar. Love the smell of a good fire, man. Oh, goodness. Says it one got pine in it. We got her stacked up there. You can see the flames. Give her about 10 more minutes. She'll be a rolling there. Come on, let's go. That's just a, uh, that's just a 22 with a dead air mask on the end of it right there. Come on, let's go. Ah. I'm gonna be a little bit longer and she'll be rolling. make her around some more rounds right quick so me and jill are doing our normal uh nightly routine here getting packages ready to go there's jill there's three packages and this is number four this package right here and then i got one more to get ready this package right here is kind of a monumental package for me and jill uh this package is going to jim bandy he's the one that made me that wooden skitter but the cool thing is about it is i don't know if y'all can see that or not you see that completed it says 500 this is my 500th separate package to ship from cotton top three right here man uh so that that's that's pretty dang cool 500 packages not counting the shows and all that stuff this is just stuff that we so mr jim that lucky he he Hit number. He actually ordered a cap, but I'm gonna send him a coaster. I'm also gonna drop him a sticker in there. Just drop it in there. It'll be fine. I'll get it in there a little bit better. So I want everybody to keep in mind now that anybody that's made orders in the month of December and continues to make orders through December the 20th, 2019, uh, you're gonna be entered into a pretty major drawing of stuff that i'm putting together for y'all so all you gotta do is make an order to be entered 